my class, first online class of the week. Um, we're going to see if we can go through this two times since it's the second week. And we're going to go ahead and begin with our warm up. Um, just keeping in mind that we want to make sure that we're breathing as efficiently as we can, right? So deep inhales and then big, drawn out, slow exhales. <clears throat> Remember our scooping. We're pulling our abdominals in, rounding our back when we're kneeling, sitting, or lying on our backs, okay? We'll also do that in our table position for our cat and a cow. So scooping and breathing uh, today is our focus. All right, let's go ahead and begin. Chest expansion. Nice and tall, squeezing those shoulder blades on the back. And then we're gonna round and scoop. Remember we're hugging that tree. Let's exhale here. Inhale on the close. come down to table. So cat and cow. Remember we're going to arch our back, lift our head up for our cow. And then we're going to pull our hips forward, round our back, back, bring our head down for our cat. Let's exhale on cow. Inhale on cat. So changing the position of our spine, warming up our lumbar area, which is our lower back. Good. All right, we're gonna go into dynamics. So go ahead and bring your hands forward. We're gonna bring our hips forward and down. And then we're gonna pull the hips back and forward. So just warming up the hips. Good. All right, come over to a seated position. We're gonna come on down for our 100 exercise. We're still gonna bend our legs, so keeping the feet off the floor, legs bent, head and shoulders up, chin to chest, scooping, pressing that back down into the mat, arms extended, remember you're gonna keep count. So it's five pumps for an inhale, five for an exhale. Drop a finger each time you complete one total breath, which is 10 total pumps. So you can keep count on your hands while you're pumping. When you're done, go ahead and bring your head down and your legs down. So our last warm-up exercise is the leg circles, right? So we're going to go ahead and lift, extend one leg up. I want a slight bend in the knee. I'm going to open this hip up so my knee and my foot is out at an angle, and I'm going to create circles with the entire leg. Let's reverse, go the opposite direction. And switch legs. Bend, open, circle. Reverse. 
reverse, opposite way. And rest. Good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and begin our session. So we're going to modify some of the exercises today. So go ahead and bring both knees in. So both feet are elevated off the floor. Lift your head and shoulders up. Starting position here. Keeping the legs off the floor, we're just gonna work one leg, okay? So I'm gonna pull in and extend out. And in and out. You can keep this arm here on the side or you can actually assist yourself by drawing that knee in and out. Remember, pregnant students, you wanna keep one foot on the floor at all times. Switch. Scooping and breathing, right? And rest. Rest the feet, rest the head. All right, double leg is going to be modified as well. We're going to actually keep our arms at our sides for this one. So we're going to go ahead and bring both knees in again, head and shoulders up. Pregnant students, I want you to keep one foot on the ground. Uh, we're going to go ahead and modify double leg. So head and shoulders up. We're going to extend the legs out, pull the legs in. So pregnant students, put one foot on the floor, extend one leg down and the back, and then switch legs. Focus on scooping and breathing here. And rest. Let's practice some bridges. Remember the bridges? We're gonna keep our arms at our sides. We're gonna lift our hips up off the mat. When we get the hips up to the top, we're gonna to engage the glutes, the quads and the hamstrings. We're gonna pull those abdominals in nice and strong and hold them there. We're gonna exhale as we lift. Ready, lift up. Tighten the glutes, pull the abs down. Now lower and inhale. Again, lift, exhale. Down, inhale. Up, exhale. Down, inhale. One more. Up, exhale. And down, inhale. Nice. All right, crisscross is gonna be modified as well. So again, we're gonna bring our knees in, head and shoulders up. We're gonna go ahead and bring our hands behind our neck. Pregnant students, keep one foot down on the floor. And we're gonna move one foot at a time, one leg at a time. So I'm crossing here. I'm gonna come back and extend this leg. Crossing, remember we wanna Pull across the rib cage. We're not pulling on the head, we're just rotating. So pregnant students, that foot is down on the floor. Breathing, scooping. Good, let's switch legs. And rest. Good. 
All right, so we're gonna modify our double straight. We're gonna do a little V, which just means we're opening our legs at the top. And we're gonna lower in this V position, but we're not gonna lower very far, okay? So, pregnant students, make sure that you're doing this with um, one foot on the floor. You can actually do the movement of the leg work. You can lift the leg, open the leg, and then lower the leg. If you'd like, you could bend that knee as well, rather than keeping it straight. Okay, all right, both legs up, head and shoulders up, hands behind the neck. We're gonna open the legs, lower, close the legs, lift. Open, lower, close, lift. Breathe. Don't forget to scoop. rest. All right, slight bend in the knees. We're going to focus on that roll up hold. Okay, so remember head comes up first, chin to chest, shoulders come up. We immediately scoop. We reach forward. We engage our glutes and then we're going to hold at the top. Here we go. Exhaling. And down and up. Tighten the glutes at the top and down and up and down. One more up and down. All right, we're gonna roll to our sides, push ourselves up, seated position, roll down holds, hands on knees, sitting up tall, we're gonna collapse our spine, we're gonna lean back, scooping, let go of the knees, hold, exhale here, and up, inhale here, and exhale back, And up, and back, and up, and back. See, just more practice and scooping, right? And up, good. All right, so last time we leaned back on our elbows, this time we're gonna lean back on our hands. So we're just gonna bring our hands back. We're gonna slightly lean back here. All we're going to do is bring one leg in, keep the other foot on the ground. I want my back nice and flat. I'm going to extend this leg out. Pull it in. Out and in. Breathing continuously. Switch legs in and out. So core strength is not just your abdominals and your back, right? We are strengthening our hips, the top of that quadricep that comes right into the muscles, into the hips, into the lower abdominals. So they're all tied in together. So the stronger our hips are and our glutes are, and our quads, right? As well as the other muscle groups, the stronger we will be. All right, go ahead and rest. Bring that trunk forward. I want you to go ahead and straighten your legs. <clears throat> we're gonna do what's called a rowing exercise. So we're practicing the scooping as we lean back, but we're also going into like a big front stretch on the way forward, okay? 
So it's going to start like this. We're imitating rowing, the movement rowing. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my arms out, stretch, and I'm going to interlock my hands out in front with my arms straight here. Now, as I collapse my spine, see how I collapse there? I'm going to lean back and pull my hands with me down the midline of my body. I'm only going to go back as far as I feel comfortable, right about here. And then from here, I'm going to let go of my hands and reach back as I lean forward and sweep my arms around for a nice big stretch over my legs. Gather my hands again. Come back, scoop, collapse the spine, lean forward, big stretch. Exhale here. Inhale here. Exhale back. Inhale here. Exhale back. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. And inhale. Good. Back to start. Go ahead and open the legs. We're going to go into spine stretch. Lean forward, just focusing on a little bit more flexibility through the hamstrings. Go ahead and bring your legs in, bend your knees. We're going to go into that seated balance position. So remember this, we're balancing on our rear here. Our feet are up off the floor. <clears throat> Pregnant students, you can do this. And you're going to go ahead and hold underneath the legs here, holding. And from here, I'm going to make sure that my trunk is tall so I have a nice flat back, okay? Now, from here, I'm going to extend this leg out. Now, if pregnant students, if you want, or other students, if you want to put one foot on the floor, that's fine. I'm going to extend, and I'm going to reach out to the side with the same side arm. Pull it up, back in. Other leg out, arm out. Maintaining a tall trunk and breathing continuously. Just a little coordination of the arms and legs while having, maintaining a strong posture. So we're building strength in our postural muscles, mainly our lumbar area, our low back. One more. Good, let's go into front stretch, legs together. Stretch forward, feet back. Okay, from here we're going to go into that mermaid pose, so the legs are off to the side. So remember, find, try to find a comfortable position here with your legs off to your side. <clears throat> hand on mat, other hand here on shin, pressing or pushing that abdomen forward so you have as tall of a trunk as you can. And we're just going to reach over and lean and then come back to center, grab onto the shin and pull, assist yourself, and then lean to the other side with a sweeping arm. Continuous breathing. Switch your legs to the other side. Find that posture. We're going to let 
go of the shin, reach over, hold on to the shin and pull. So each time you side bend, you should be increasing your flexibility in your hip, right, and your side. And core is not just here and here. It's also the sides of your trunk, the obliques of your abdominal wall. Good. All right, we're always going to come back to a seated centered position when we're off to our side, so knee hug. And we're going to go ahead and turn over to our tummies, okay? So go ahead and do that. So today we're going to do what's called a slow swim. And it's where we're lifting opposite arm, opposite leg off the floor. So go ahead and come down to your tummies all the way down. I want you to go ahead and lower your head to the mat. Now, from this position, I'm going to ask that you lift your head off the mat, but I want you to keep looking down at your mat. So that's called a neutral neckline. We don't want to put any stress on the neck by looking up and forward. So all we're doing is we're lifting the head, still maintaining a vision of the mat. And from here, I'm going to lift my left arm. So I'm resting here on my elbows, right? I'm going to lift my left arm and lift my right leg, keeping my hip down, and then lower. So I do not rotate over to the side. All I'm doing is lifting my right arm and my left leg off the mat. Notice my trunk stays connected to the mat. I lower, lift my left and my right, and down, right and left and down. You should feel this in the glutes, the lower back. You might even feel it in the shoulders because you're lifting and supporting your other arm. With continuous breathing though, we're just alternating the lifting. So this is called slow swim. We'll increase the energy as we go through the semester, but right now we're just breaking it down into simple moves. Good. All right, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and come up onto my elbows. So I'm bringing my trunk up on my elbows. This is called single leg kicks. So when we do these, we wanna make sure that we're focusing on um, drawing those abdominals up and in and holding them there. That helps stabilize our back. So we don't want to drop our abs so that our back is arched. So watch me. I'm going to lift my hips up off the mat and I'm going to pull my abs up and in and hold, lock them in there, right? So if I didn't have them locked, my back would look like this, right? My back would be sagging. I want it pulled up nice and strong. And all I'm going to do from here is pull one foot in and then the other. Tightening my hamstrings, my glutes, holding my abs up and in, and breathing. These are called single leg kicks. Now I'm going to come back into low back stretch, so just pull my hips back, keep my arms extended. Good. Come back into table. 
All right, from here, we're gonna do a push-up leg pull down on our knees. Remember we tested for this? So I'm going to bring my hands forward, pull my hips down. From here, I'm gonna do a push-up. Come down with me, push-up. I'm gonna come into high plank. I'm gonna lift one leg and pull down onto my heel. Drop that foot, lift the other leg, pull down onto that heel. Foot down, knees down. Repeat, push up, pull down, pull down. Knees down, push up, pull down, pull down. Knees down. Kneeling tall. <clears throat> so we tried some of those lean backs, right? We did the hip thrusts last time. We're just going to do a lean back. But we're going to bring our arms out as we lean back. So watch me. Keeping my trunk nice and tall and strong. Abs are pulled in. Shoulders, good posture. I'm gonna lean back and pull my arms out at the sides and back down. So I don't change position in my trunk. I'm just leaning back. My hips and my glutes are supporting me. Back and forward. I don't arch my back. I just simply lean back and lean forward. So you'll feel the strength in your quadriceps, right? Hamstrings and glutes, supporting yourself so you don't fall back. And you'll also feel this in your lower back. Good. All right, we're gonna come down to our sides for our side exercises. <clears throat> On your elbow, legs are bent. I want you to keep your legs bent with your knees connected here. And we're gonna do what's called a, an elbow clam exercise. And the clam just simply means that we're really just working on hip strengthening by keeping our feet connected and separating our knees. So watch me, I'm just gonna sit up tall or lean tall, right? That just means that my back is not sagging. I'm pushing my abs forward and I'm going to open and close. That's all I'm doing. But each time I open and close, I'm really focusing on strong hip and leg muscles. So everything is engaged, pulling my abs in holding them there, breathing, right? You should feel this in that outer hip. Good, all right. Go ahead and bring your knees back slightly. Now we're gonna focus just on the trunk and we're gonna do what's called an elbow chest opener, okay? So I'm gonna lift my hips up off the mat, keeping my legs bent. I'm gonna push my hips forward. I'm gonna reach my arm up. Now I'm going to rotate my arm down and up, chest opener. And down and up. Breathing. Lower your hips, go to the other side. Side elbow clams. There we go, open, close.
So legs back, hips up, arm up, come across down, chest opener, and down. center and knee hug. So that was first time through. We're going to repeat the same sequence, the same exercises again. <clears throat> and then this will be the typical routine from here on out. Go through every exercise as a warm-up, right? Learning it for the first time. And then the second time through, doing it again, repeating, and maybe even doubling up on some exercises eventually, okay, to work on our stamina, our endurance. Okay, so we're gonna come down to our backs. Remember, anytime we go to our backs, we wanna practice scooping. So one vertebrae at a time, we're gonna come down, all the way down. And from here, go ahead and bring your knees in. Pregnant students, keep one foot down. Head and shoulders are up and we're just working one leg at a time. Single leg modified. Switch legs. And rest. Next exercise is the modified double leg. So pregnant students, you can keep one foot on the ground. You can just do the same exercise. <clears throat> Both knees in, head and shoulders up, arms down at your sides. And we're going to extend out and in. Breathing, scooping, and rest. All right, we have that bridge, right? Arms stay at our sides. We're going to lift up, exhale, engage at the top. Inhale on the way down. Single leg crisscross, pregnant students, one foot down on the floor, others, both knees in, head and shoulders up, hands behind your head, rotate, extend one leg out. Switch legs. And legs down, head down. All right, next is that modified double straight. We're gonna open the legs, and then we're gonna go ahead and lower the legs, close the legs, and lift. 
uh, pregnant students, you're just doing one leg at a time, one foot on the floor. Here we go, both legs up, head and shoulders up, hands behind your neck. We're gonna open, lower, close, and lift. You don't have to lower those legs all the way down. All right, feet down, head down, arms down. Nice. All right, slight bend in the knees. We're gonna go into that roll up hold. Here we go, exhaling, head, chin, shoulders, scooping, glutes. Hold, down, inhale. Exhale up. So you're really pressing that low back down into the mat when you're scooping and tightening the glutes. Press the back down. Let's go one more. Good. All right, roll to your side. Push yourselves up, seated, roll down, hands on knees, collapse your spine, and lean back, reach. And forward, we're gonna exhale as we lean back. Remember, exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Good. All right, we're going to lean back on our hands, tall trunk, one leg in, extend out, in. Switch legs. And lean forward. That rowing exercise, legs are together, hands are interlocked. Collapse your spine. We're gonna lean back, pull the arms in. Lean forward, reach back. Stretch sweeping arms. Start again. Exhale as you lean back. Inhale as you stretch here. Let's go into seated balance, flat back, extend one leg out, reach out, balance here, pull it in, other leg, other arm,
let's go in the spine stretch. V position, arms up, stretch forward, pull it back, and up. Big exhale here. All right, let's bring our legs to our side for our mermaid. Find your position. All right, here we go. Begin. Tall trunks. Continuous breathing. Switch your legs, find your position, and begin. Make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath. Go to knee hug in our center. And we'll turn over to our tummies for that slow swim exercise, okay? Arms extended. Neutral neck. Remember, we're alternating right arm, left leg at the same time, left arm, right leg. Here we go. Lift the head, look down at your mat, elevate, hold, lower. Breathe while you're lifting and holding and lowering, okay? Through the movement, we don't want to hold our breath. We want to keep breathing. Come up onto your elbows for single leg kicks. Remember to pull, draw those abs up and in and hold them there. And pull one leg in at a time. Let's turn this into low back stretch. Pull your hips back. Kneeling tall. Actually, we'll go push ups first. We won't do kneeling tall. Push up leg, pull down. So table, bring your hands forward, hips down. We're going to push up, high plank, lift, pull down, lift, pull down, knees down, start again.
one more. Now kneeling tall. So this time we're going to bring our arms forward. So again, strong trunk, right? Tighten your glutes. Lean back. Raise your arms in front. We're going to come down for our side elbow clams. Folded legs. <clears throat> Good posture in your trunk. Lift and lower. Let's turn this into chest opener. Bring your knees back. This time we're going to put our hand behind our neck, okay? So lift your hips, hand behind your neck, and we're just going to rotate and lift. Lower your hip, turn to the other side, stack your legs, <clears throat> here we go, clams, Chest opener, legs back, hips up, hand behind your neck, rotate. seated position. Let's go into those seated accordions. Remember those? It's our like our finish warm up. Centering ourselves, hands on our knees. We're just going to collapse our spine, scoop, and then draw our trunk forward. Breathe. It's just like some active flexibility at the end, releasing tension in the lower back maybe mostly. Alright, legs extended with a slightly bent knee, sitting up tall. We're going to start with our arms at our sides, our arm exercise to finish. We're just going to make circles moving forward. So nice, strong posture and strong arms. Then we're going to reverse, go the opposite direction, back to the sides where we started. Reverse, going forward with our circles. Breathing, reverse, going backwards with our circles. Forward. One more 
time. you guys that's it we are done for today's first session of the week online uh, I'll see you tomorrow in class remember you have until the end of the week Sunday night 11 55 p.m. to get this uh, session in the next session up so obviously you're done with this one um, I can already tell that you've watched it so don't worry about anything you don't have to respond or submit anything and then just make sure you get your next session uh, completed uh, by Sunday evening and I'll see you in class. All right, good job. Bye.